Hey guys, so I'm always reading all of the comments that you put on the videos that I release and there's so many good questions in those comments. But one of the questions from a few days ago was what does Sol Extra and Pure compare like if you were to do some frames per second test? So that's exactly what I'm going to do today and there's some very interesting results. But I couldn't make it just as simple as that because I'm also going to throw in Rain 1.77 Preview 1 just to see how that affects performance. And also welcome to the new Sirspats Gaming Garage. This is still under development and I'll drop the modders link in the description below. Seb is doing a fantastic job for me and there's lots more to come from this. To do the test today I'm going to be running the Singer 911 which is a beautiful mod at Road America. And we're going to be doing a frame rate test. Now I thought the easiest way to do this was just the lowest frames per second in all of those different categories. It's also important to note that I am running an RX 3080 and a Ryzen 9 3900X. So I'm going to be ramping everything up to full detail and also making making sure I put as many cars on the track as possible. So as you can see, I'm on 0, 1.77 preview one here. And if we drop into weather effects in custom shader patch, you can see the controller script on Sol 2.2. I'm actually gonna be keeping that on there. So that is not gonna be changing. So if you are gonna replicate this test, make sure that you keep that on Sol 2.2. The bit that we're gonna change is we've got it on Sol 2.2.1 here, but also in this list, we have Pure. Pure is 0 0.58, the latest public release on Patreon. Remember Remember, if you want to try Pure, you need to get it from Peter's Patreon page. I think it's a dollar or a euro a month, so really good value. Let's also check the video settings as well, because this is really important. I'm going to be running a lot of today's footage on 4K, but I am actually going to try it on full HD as well. Now, I'm not sure of the performance gain or hit that's going to give me, and I'm going into this with an open mind just to see what kind of frames per second we get. It's also worth checking out as well that all the settings here are max, and you can see at the top on the filter I've got Sol Extra so I've turned heat shimmering off and I've got FX AA off. If you do want to check out the rest of my settings in CSP I've got a number of videos that I show how to get max detail the way that I want to run the game and I've also exported some of my settings as well. You can see in here we've got Pure and Sol Extra because I'm on the Sol weather script at the moment I'm going to put it on Sol Extra and this is how we're going to start. So let's jump in then. As we drop into the game as well I am going to bring the Sol config up and make sure I'm going to click Ultra here. So I think I'm on Ultra anyway, but I'm just going to click that and that resets all the settings on the Sol config. So if you do want to replicate the test, then make sure that's on Ultra. I would be really interested in the comments as well. If you do replicate these, what actual results you get. Also, before we jump into the test, do remember guys, I am now on Twitch and there's streams every Wednesday, Friday and weekends. There's a full schedule. Check out Discord or the Twitch schedule for more information. First up then we have Sol Extra on 4K. So I've got the CSP render stack in the top corner and also the set of course of render stats give you a little bit of different information now the one thing that I would ask you to do here as well is look at the quality because the quality of the lighting and the way that the lighting works is the main reason to move over to pure now pure is obviously still in development and Peter has been open to say that pure is going to be the basis of Sol 3.0 so if you do want to have more information on that then do check out the other videos I've got on the channel but this is really interesting so I know the render stats depend Depending on the resolution that you're watching this might be a little bit small but I will put a summary at the end but I think it's really interesting to look at the quality so now we've got CSP 1.77 preview 1 fully running now remember guys if you want external rain it's nothing to do with Sol nothing to do with pure it's all about those patreon versions of CSP so if you've got CSP 1.76 final public you're not going to be seeing, able to see external rain. You do need one of the preview versions. Also, again, on these two replays, looking at rain, I am using a slightly different replay. So remember, if you do run a replay, you can't change the weather on it once the replay has been recorded. Now, I think this pure 0.58 view of this replay is really interesting. You can see a lot more haze and moisture in the air as well. So this is really good to look at, and this is a direct comparison of exactly the same replay. So not only are we looking at the render stats here today, we are also looking at what you want your eye to see and how you want a set of Corsa to look. And this is the amazing thing about all the mods on a set of Corsa. There's something there for everybody to get exactly the right look and feel. 
So now we've done those 4K comparisons, I thought I'd drop it down to HD, so I'm sorry if the quality doesn't quite transfer onto YouTube, but I would upload this in full 2K. Running this in HD, I did think I'd get a much higher frame rate, but actually the opposite has happened. I've got a lower frames per second as my lowest, but I think the average is higher. So that's very interesting and probably has something to do with the quality settings that I've got set on CSP. But this just shows you how you can have all sorts of different rigs and it will give you very different results. So do drop in the description what your results were if you try this. Remember, I'm running the 911 Singer. I've got 42 cars on these replays. And this is also at Road America, which is an amazing track by Lilski, especially with all the custom animations. The guy that you can see walking around, just love it. That then is the end of the test, so let me bring up the results. And as you can see, that the lowest frames per second we got was pure 0.58 with RAID HD, so that's 1080p at 39.9. What you can see though, and I've seen this in-game personally, is that if you're not running RAID, you're probably going to get some kind of boost from running pure. If you are running RAID, it's going to be slightly reduced. But as you can see by the results, it is a minimal difference, but it all depends on what rig you are running. Well guys, I hope that's been useful and just giving you a quality view as well as a frames per second view do drop in the comments below what your test results were if you run this test because i've been really interested to see them see you very soon guys